Hello everyone, in today's video I will be talking about type conversion in Python. I have already made a data type conversion video and I will give you the link of that in the description below. In that video I showed you about two types that is int and str which is integer and string data types. In this video I will be giving a more elaborate description about int, str, float, hexadecimal, octal, complex and odd which are the various other data types available in python. So for that let us tell you one more thing. Python type conversion is of two types. It is implicit type conversion and explicit type conversion. Implicit type conversion means where Python automatically changes the data type of a variable depending on its application and in case of explicit type conversion depending on our requirement we change it. So let us give you an example say num1 is equal to 1 2 3 and num2 is equal to 1 point 2, 3. So num1 is a integer and num2 is a float variable. Now what I am going to do is I will add this to and store it in a variable say num3. So num1 plus num2. Now I will print the value of num3 and I will run it. In the console you can see that the answer is 120. 4.23 so the result is a floating point value here num1 is a integer and num2 is a float and num3 is equal to num1 plus num2 the result is a float the answer is 124.23 let me show you the type of num1 so print type num1 and again the type of num2 as well type of num2 and also let me show you the type of num3 variable as well so print type of num3 and now I'm running it again as you can see the type of the num1 variable is a integer and the type of the num2 variable is a float so class float and the type of the result or the num3 variable is a float here python has automatically done it int plus float is converted to a float just because the result is a float so you can see int and float results in a float because the result is 124.23 which is a floating point value so this was one type of conversion which is implicit now let me show you the explicit type of data conversion now in the num2 variable i am changing it to a string which is written in the quotes say quotes 1 2 3 now this is a string character which is under quotes and num1 is already an integer which is 123 the value of num1 is 123 and the num2 is as you can see it is written in the quotes and it is quotes 123 again I am adding num1 and num2 and let me run it Here you can see that there is an error, the type error, it says unsupported operand types for int and str. This means that we cannot add integer and string values or subtract integer and string values. It produces an error called the type error. You can see in the console, num1 is an integer, num2 is a string and therefore num1 and num2 cannot be added together just because the type of data 
in both the variables is different that's why we're getting the type error and I have already told about the same thing in my earlier video so what we can do to rectify this problem is we can change the type of this num2 variable because the num1 is an integer so we have to change the type of this num2 variable into an integer so that we can add these two together so for that what I can do is my num1 is already an integer so my num2 I will change it into an integer by using the keyword int in front of it and then I put it under brackets so now num2 has been changed into an integer from a string value now I'm running it again you can see that the class or the type of num1 is int and again the class of the num2 is also string it hasn't changed but just because I wanted to add it and store it in num3 I have changed it the answer is 246 but the data type of the num3 variable has changed to int this has been done explicitly because I changed it I changed the value of num2 and converted it into an integer so this is called the explicit type conversion in Python now I will also tell you about hexadecimal octal complex and odd so let's start with this I'm taking a variable say num is equal to 25 so this is an integer value then I will print the number and I will run it you will find it to be displayed 25 in the console so that's all right now to convert it into a hexadecimal number what I need to do is I need to write hex in front of this number and put the number in brackets and close the bracket so the number 25 will be converted to its hexadecimal value see the value is the hexadecimal one again now if I want to change the same 25 into an octal number I will use the oct keyword and then run it again the value has been changed to a octal number again if I want to do it for complex numbers which is a plus ib format I will write the complex keyword and run it then you can see that it has changed to 25 plus 0 into z which is a plus ib format and again ORD is done to change a single character into its unicode value because ORD doesn't work with integers I have to use a single character here let us take a and then run it so you can see here the unicode value for small a is 97 hope you enjoyed it Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any queries, you can post them in the comment section. Thank you. Happy learning.